ago, we have a only word in Portuguese for that, Catol. And I'm going to try to present for the first time in my life how to make 360 degree videos with free software. Sorry for my English. Yeah. So if you have difficult, I'll translate. You're doing very well. Okay. Okay? Então, galera, eu vou falar para vocês como é que foi. <laughs> Os dois, tem, gente, tem alguém que não fala inglês, né? Tem alguém que é ruim em inglês, né? Ele é ruim, mas ele não quer assistir. Ele quer tirar foto. Então, tem que fazer rápido, porque eu não sei se dá muito tempo. Meus contatos aqui. My information. Uh, my, a little bit of my history, um pouquinho da minha história. And um, that's not important. It's not important, ok? So, what is a 360 degree video? Maybe someone doesn't know that, but I don't know. So, I try to show. Anyway, uh, a video is a sequence of pictures, okay? A sequence of images. And so, to explain what is a video, a 360 video, it is a sequence of 360 pictures, images. So, uh, and a 360 image is an image composed by uh, the pictures necessary to to fulfill the visual sphere, as we say. So it will the number of, of pictures you will need to, to do will depend on the on the angle of your lens. So you can do a 360 degree image with any camera. The only thing that will change is the number of pictures you, you will need to, to make and the difficulty to, to stitch it. Okay. And I have a, a little video here to show this. You can imagine this as the, as the visuals here from a, a central line in the middle. And you will need to do images to fulfill this sphere. So in this case, uh, I took the, I shot the images with a, a fisheye lens, which has a, a, a really wide angle. So I needed, I guess, five pictures. I, I need. Então, cadê o português aí? Para fazer uma foto de 360 graus, eu tenho que fazer o número de fotos necessários para cobrir a esfera visual. Certo? Isso vai, o número de fotos vai depender da lente que eu estou usando, do ângulo que ela cobre. Na minha visão. Se eu tenho uma lente que cobre 180 graus, ou um pouquinho mais, que eu preciso de sobreposição, eu vou precisar de duas fotos, tá? Só para entender. So if I have a, a, a only lens that cover a little bit more than uh, 180 degrees, like this one, I will need only two lenses. And this is a, an equipment that makes uh, 360 degree uh, pictures and video. Okay. So, this is an equipment that makes photos 360 degrees and video 360 degrees. So, a photo and video is a sequence of these photos that have to be structured to form an image 360 degrees. So, you have to do many of these photos. Então começa a complicar quando eu vou fazer isso com uma câmera só, certo? Então, so, just presuming that the, the, the video, 360 degree video, is a sequence of pictures of 360 degree images. And uh, when I use an only camera, a single camera, I, I will have a little difficulty to, to make this video. But I will, I will do it here with a uh, common camera. Common, not so common, but it can be done with a, a cell phone also. So I'll try to show that to you. And oh, okay, so uh, this is not only a uh, 360 degree image. Uh, usually you, uh, they are presented with a program, a software that is capable to present it uh, interactively. So you can interact with the image. So normally, ah, in Portuguese, it's just written there, guys. Então, deixa eu ver aqui. This is an example of an image, okay? Not a video. 
You can interact with that. You can look to wherever you want. You can zoom in, zoom out. Okay. So then depending on what I, I program it behind the scenes, I, I can do, uh, <coughs> embed uh, uh, an album or Panel Forum is the name of the software? Sorry? Panel Forum? What's the name of the software? Is it this? No, Panel Forum, forum is the name of a forum I, I have created and that I'm maintaining since uh, 2011. Okay. The software that I use it here is not a free software, but there are free software to, to, to use to do this. I will talk about it. Okay. And we can, uh, we have VR, uh, it allows us to, to experiment uh, a virtual reality. When we click here, the screen is split in two parts. Okay, so we can show you how it is virtual, this type of photo. When we click on that button, the screen is divided in two. And if you have the right equipment, adequate, if you have the, the, the right equipment, like this one, this is a very simple one. Okay, como esse simplesinho aqui, esse é só um um equipamento simples, não é um óculos Rift, por exemplo. This is not a, a Rift glass, but you can use it with your own cell phone if it has gyroscopic. Gyroscopic. It will work and you will uh, experience the scene as you were there. Okay, you, you will turn your head and you will move to wherever you want. You only won't be able to do zoom in and zoom out here. It's uh, 3D. It looks like 3D. Looks like 3D. In this case, uh, the 3D is simulated. You can see that the, there is a shoot. Okay, but in this building, which here is still here, there is a, a little uh, displacement okay. between the images to look like 3D, but this won't look uh, effectively like 3D. Yeah. Okay. But you can do this kind of image, 360 degree 3D image. But you have to shot with two cameras mm -hmm. at each spot. Então. You're going very well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's full in Portuguese, so English. No, oh, forget port. Full in Portuguese? Yes. Yeah. yeah. É, alguém quer português? Não. Não. Eu vou pensar numa linha só assim, antes de me enrolar. Ok, so, the VR gives us uh, the, the immersion sensation, ok? We can see this with some special glasses, uh, where the, the, the screen is split in two parts. Here are some examples of, of glasses. You can use your cell phone with this simple equipment, or even a, most, a more simple one, like Google Cardboard, I have some here, okay? This is not a mountain, you, you have to assemble this, and it will look like a, a box, a cardboard box, with two small lenses. That, uh, the trick here is the lenses, are the lenses, okay? They allow you to focus from a very small distance, 0.5 millimeters, <coughs> millimeters, I guess. But this one is better because you can regulate the, the distance between, between between your eyes and the distance to the to the cell phone and the the how to it the height. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the back are you listening to what he's saying? Okay. So let's go. So uh, how can we do that? We, we have some possibilities. We have some cameras that already do the job, all the job, okay? Here are some examples, commercial ones. There's the Nikon Theta, the Insta 360, and the Gear 360, which Gear 360, which is this one from Samsung. And the Insta360 is a Chinese model that uh, is promised to launch a new model this year that will do 8K 
medium, which is really important for, for this kind of video because when you watch a, a 360 degree video, you don't look to all the resolution at the same time. So, so a full, full HD video, when, it's, when a 360 degree video is made in full HD, it's bad, really bad. A 4K resolution is more or less. So an 8K resolution is good. Because you will be looking for, uh, I guess, 20% of the resolution in one time, okay? So other possibilities, you can use uh, multi-camera uh, equipment, which color .com produces and 360 heroes.com produces also. In fact, they don't produce the camera, they produce the mounts where you put usually GoPros. So there are the, small, the smaller ones, they use six GoPros. Okay. They, they form like a, a cube with a GoPro in each face. And you can also do with any camera, like a cell phone. The most important thing is to rotate it correctly, correctly, yeah. So you need to rotate the camera around the, the low parallax point, a point from where you will not notice any perspective error. For example, uh, this, this tripod head where the camera is, is fixed, it is already calibrated. Calibrated means that the camera is positioned uh, in the right position and when the camera rotates it won't uh, register any perspective error. I mean, from here, imagine that my finger is here and that guy there, my friend, Fabio, is right behind my finger, okay? When I rotate the camera, Imagine that my, my finger doesn't move, okay, but it will move. When I rotate my camera, if my finger didn't move, it will still be right behind my finger. So there will be no parallax error. This is what is important to stitch correctly pictures or images to, to make this kind of pictures, or this kind of stuff. So there are some limitations, obviously, when you use only a single camera. The, the scene can't be a live scene. I won't be able to use one camera to register all the movement around the camera at the same time. So I can't be uh, filming alive. Okay? With this kind of equipment, I can do that. It will register all the movement around. But with this kind of equipment and with a cell phone, I can make, for example, video clips, music clips, which is what I'm, I will try to do here for you. Alive, okay? Unfortunately, we won't have time to, to render the final video because it will take probably around six hours to finish. So, impossible. But I will show here what I did to, to practice for this presentation. So some limitations, the, the scene can be alive. Some cameras might need many videos to, to stitch a 360 degree video. The synchronization of the videos are, are, are one more difficulty, okay? With this camera you don't have this problem, they are already synced. Synced. Sync. And with, with free software, that is not a, a user friend uh, software to do that. You need to, to go to the common line, use something like FMPEG and uh, Image Magic and things like that, make some scripts. But anyway, I guess the, the public here does that. And how to, to, to watch a movie like that? There are some players, some non, non free players like uh, GoPro VR Player, which is available in that site, caller.com. It's not uh, free soft, uh, open source software, but it, it is free, okay? VLC, a well-known player, uh, has already gone 360 degree 
Unfortunately, not for Linux, so I won't be able to use it here. This is still uh, better, I, I guess. But if you search for VLC Ghost 360, you will find it easily. Yeah, Google or other search engine. And also, you can use some some web plugins like <coughs> Fire Funnel, uh, which is a commercial one. That one that was shown with the picture was Fire Funnel. I have it. Okay. And Marzi Panel, which is uh, a free one. And there are some others. You can also publish on sites like Facebook, YouTube, and this other site here for free. And they, they will accept this kind of video, they will understand, and they will uh, properly show for the users, show the users the, the effect of navigation and so on. And here I tried to, I believe, wants to work. So I I have to put here. This one is published with Marzipano, which is free. The sound is here. Uh, I forgot to put the sound in. With the DSLR, 
and then I have edited them and seen them and seen them, seen them, seen them. Yeah, she said that you can't think it, think it, so. Think. Think. Ah, go on. <laughs> so I, I had to sync the videos and the audio and, and stitch them, okay? So there are many software to go with that, not too many. Let's go back to the presentation here. So here are presentation is finished, finished, okay? Now it's the practice. And uh, these are the the steps suggested to do something like that video that I've just shown. And the first one is to define, create, and practice the bass. This is the bass sound, okay? Uh, I don't know how to translate quack catchy. You know one? You know that thing that they use in the movies to, to mark this, yeah. the, the start of, of oh, the... Oh, clapboard. 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 So you, you need to define the clapboard. How? how? Uh, why do I say define the clapboard? Maybe it won't be a clapboard. It will be a, a sound, something like that. I have used a, a part of the music as a clapboard. And the clapboard, I don't know if everybody knows, but that is uh, very important in, in movies uh, to sync. Okay? She knows. Surely, yeah. To sync the, the, the audio and the video, and in this case, to sync the multiple videos that you do. Okay? And as uh, the music, when I, when I play the music, I won't play the same thing. Okay, in one uh, video I will play the bass, and in the other video I will play the, uh, uh, the small uh, solo. Yeah. Solo. Ah, solo. 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 Okay. So it will be difficult to, to sync them with, uh, based on these different things. It's uh, more reasonable and much more easy to use the same sound in two, three, or how many videos you make to, to stitch. So, think the fir this first step is very important, to define, create, and practice the clever in the base, because I have also used a base. It can be a... A capasso, a metronome. Metronome. Yeah. can be a metronome. In my case, I have used the original music. To, uh, I listen with a phone, and I play here in the same rhythm. And then all the things are synced. You have to plan the positions. I have already done that before the, the first uh, afternoon speech of our friends there. So I have already uh, looked in the viewfinder to see if it's okay. Plan the, the positions. I will try to do there and here. And I, I have tested different lenses to see if the, the smaller lens is okay and it didn't went okay, so it didn't go okay. So uh, I have already done that, okay? It's already important. Oh, it's also important. Then you have to film and maybe take pictures. In my case, I will do both, okay? I won't do only videos to cover all the, the visual visuals here. I will do two videos of part of the visual sphere and the rest I will uh, fulfill with pictures that will repeat and that won't have movement in the final result. Okay? It's easier to, to do it, to do this here. And faster. We don't have all the time of the work. And then we generate a video. It's better to start doing things, isn't it? Let me see. Then we we, we gen generate the, the, the synced videos and audio. Then we have to, to split these videos in their frames and stitch a model maybe with, with the first frame of all of them. And this model will be used to stitch all the frames uh, using a script. And then maybe the, the same script can already join the frames at the end 
and maybe join the audio if you have already finished the audio. So let, let us try. If I didn't get, if, if I'm not, if I'm not able to do this here, I will show with the ones I've already done because I'm a little bit nervous and I don't know if I will be able to play. Anyway. I will make all the pictures to make uh, you know, where I will put this. Can be here. I can call it for you. The thing is that I, I will be here playing in the video, okay? So I can let this this thing that won't be here when I when I make the movie. Because it can be here it can be that I could okay the video will reach right here, so I need to think about it. So if I make the picture with it here, it's okay. It will appear in the video there and in my hands here, it's not a problem. The problem is that is if you cut it, okay, it will be ugly. So with this lens, I will need seven pictures. Fica um pouquinho isso aqui pra cá, daqui de baixo. Uhum. É. Mais um pouquinho pra cá. Uhum. Ele pode virar pra cá assim de lado mesmo. Four. Uhum. Isso, isso. Não? Não. Cheers. Cheers again. But I'm in the different position. You, sh you, sh you uh, should have said The teacher will choose one. <laughs> and, or maybe we'll make a monster from you. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one. Okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could do one to, to the ground, but in, with this ground, it's not necessary. I can clone it. How would you do the ground without I can't I can't Tá. 
Que ela vai ficar ali na mesa, ela não, não tá filmando, não? Não. Dá até show? Não. Pensei que era pra estar. Não. Mas dá pra ver sim. So as I said, I have uh, I have put one song for the clapboard, and then the original song I I will try to play there. Okay. So the first part is uh, "Stand by Me," which I will play only the the, the bass there. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. This will be the clapboard, and then I'll try to play a Brazilian song. Call them keep by the Some seconds, uh, empty the, the beginning. So this is the clapboard, and I don't need to start together with it. With the song there. If I have part of it, it's okay. And this is the, the song. I won't play when it begins. I will play only the... The, there. the next part. Yeah. I will do this, this little soul. And also the uh, bass. And I'll try to sing with this wonderful voice I have. And you can do something. What can you do when I say if I say it? Any Brazilian here? <laughs> if I eat, then you see it. Brazil! Yeah, pull that in. Classic. Okay, so I will I will do just a few parts of this song. It's edited there. That's not the, the whole song. The song is longer than that. But I have prepared in Audacity. I have mixed the, the start. It's start and it's it's end. Uh, I need my cell phone and I don't know what it is. But it is. So the clapboard is recorded there. Oh, it's here. Do you want me to hold the mic while you sing? Yeah. Okay. Let's... Hey, how can I... Mais pitching pra cá. Aí. Silence in the studio. <laughs> Thank you. 
pula. Aí passa para outro. É que não olha. Manda ali, eu me pego. Tá pegando ali? Me pego já. de afinar aqui, se ele quiser.
sem vergonha. Desculpa aí.
and Training Live also has a feature to automatically sync the videos by the audio. You define a video as a, a as the audio reference, and then you take the other video, a second or a third video, and you you say them to to sync with the audio reference, and it puts in the right place. Maybe uh, to to use it here, maybe it would be necessary to let only the clapboard showing here, so that the rest of the audio, which is different between videos, okay, doesn't uh, make a mistake with that function. Anyway, when you see the clapboard, the rest is, is synced, and the job is done. So you can uh, define a region here. Uh, here I have a region. Who region? Okay. It shows better in the projector than here. This blue region was rendered, and then I have uh, split the audio with that pattern back in the command line. Then I have imported the audio, the three audios, this file I, I didn't save, but I have imported them in Audacity. And I have treated them, I have removed noise, and I have put some reverb in the voice, and and I have uh, I have made the, the bass because I have uh, recorded the standby me song. So I have made the, the bass a little more great. Is it great? It works. A cute great, is it? Anyway. Sharp, flat, I don't know what you're trying to say. This is a great song. This is a... Oh, low. <laughs> low. Okay. So I have made it the best. Bass. Bass boost. Bass. Bass boost. More. Bass boost. More bass boost. I did a bass boost. Is it? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks. So I don't know what I'm going And then I have exported the the composite audio of the three uh, videos to a single volume, so the audio was ready here. And I have made a script, so let me show you the script. A shell script, dash shell script. Where am I? This is the script, and here is the first commented uh, loop. It did the uh, with F, F impact. It split each video in its in its frames. I have put each video frame in a separated directory. Then I have in another program called Hugging. This program here, okay. I have stitched the the model, okay, with the first frame of the of each video. And here I would do with the pictures, and then I, I would use one frame of each video of each of, of the two videos. Then my final model to apply the script would have three original three source images, okay, the full. 360 degree image and a frame of each of the two videos. And then the script would do here with the model. I, I have made a template from the model. I have called in Portuguese here, Modelo. Okay. And it generates a final model from the template at each loop cycle. And then Nona and Nimblend are tools that come with hugging. You can use it from the command line. And Nona creates each uh, distorted picture from each or uh, each source image and Nimblend makes the final blend of them creating the final frame that will be used to compose the final video. So here Again, with that, that impact, I took each frame from uh, here. I have put the I have used the side that means output. I have used this directory to 
to put the file frame stitches. And here I just make the video from them, okay? Which originated that video that, that I have already played here for you. If I have time, I will try to stitch this video and maybe tomorrow I can post it in the, well, the only place I know where to post it here is the Kinograph Facebook group, okay? Questions? Yeah, uh, sure. One, taking live, you only use it only to sync with uh, the cloud. Yes. So that's the only way you don't actually edit a DVD. I could have used it to, to make the final one and maybe to blend also. But I, I'm already uh, familiar with hugging tools, I have preferred to, to use them. But I, I could have, in fact, to, to use Killing Life to stitch, I would have to use Nona at least. Okay, to make the, the, the image correctly distorted to be uh, blended with the... But I guess you still need uh, hugging? I would need the inblend command. I could have used Kelly Live. Entirely. You still need to make the model, right? With hugging. I didn't get it, sorry. You still need to stitch the script deals. You still need to create a model you yes. say you made the model. Yes, then you I would. I would still need to to use the model. Okay. And do you have like a return tutorial somewhat with everything we to say that we can? Say. If I have a tutorial on that, yeah, of not possible. Well, this is the first first time I do this. I can make one. You can make, send me an email. I can send all the things I've done there. And uh, I have a, a YouTube channel, but there's nothing about it there. But I mean that I have a YouTube channel and usually I post things there, I share things there. If I if I notice that there are, there are people interested in that I can do something. Yeah that's very like having to the script or something like that so many roles to read them and yeah for now you can call me by mail. Okay, I have detailed uh, each step here but it's it's important use. And at the end I have met you some References here, I have a lot of references here in this first link. Okay, uh, the link is called References here in Portuguese, okay, but the page there uh, is called uh, How to Make. And there, there are many, many references, mine and from other sites. Uh, it's the place where I try to center all the things I, I, I think they are useful for everybody. Here is that panel forum. Okay, it's uh, the first uh, Portuguese forum dedicated for, uh, to panoramic images and videos and whatever related to panoramic things, to 360 degree things. Here is my YouTube channel. You can learn how to weld plastic there. It's my last video with a, a weld uh, iron. Very easy. Don't throw away any more plastic. Okay, you can fix all them. And here is the group in Portuguese also. It has few people there, I guess, less than 300. Compared to the, the English group, they have more than 6,000 people there, or 8,000, I don't remember correctly. But uh, one thing that I try to do is to produce uh, material in Portuguese to share, because usually there, there are a lot more material in English, so I try to to reach my fellows from Brazil. And one more question. Um, so, with free software, we can make the videos, but apparently we cannot actually make them. We have to use proprietary software or VLC, but on Windows only, you say. Uh, if there is no free software or like, looking at what we need on him. Free software, well. There is, you can use Marzipano, which is free, but it's not open source. Like free of charge, I mean. But free of charge. Yeah, but like, I mean, free software, like open source. Open source free software. Open source software. Yeah. There is, I don't know. In fact, I'm not sure that Marzipano is not open source, I guess. The problem is, uh, there is the VLC, VLC 
Is the but you say on Windows only? Yeah, we can pressure the developer there because you said that it would be available for all platforms, but from now it's only available for Windows and Mac. So that, that, that's an idea of VLC, source 3, 16, not the VLC developer, but other developers to make some error for it. Other developers, not the name of the VLC? Like it's in the VLC site, video1.org. Okay, but I don't know the developers to, to tell you the the guy that did that is one of the official developers. Uh, and I don't know if I have internet here, but I can well, try. Okay. The final the final uh, format of the file for MPEG form? No, the the final for the uh, format. Three sixty three sixty video format. Three sixty video format. MPEG form. MP4. O Mazipano is license Apache. Mazipano is Apache license, so it's open source software. But it, Marzipano is designed for web, for web, you will need a browser to use it. You only need a table. I don't think it's a problem. Okay. The final format of the image is JPEG. The final format of the video is MP4. So the, the, the trick is to distort it while playing, okay? It, 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 I don't know if I have a... I can play it with a player. You will see it distorted. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, so the, the, the answer to this question is uh, the resulting file is a, a normal video file. It's a normal video. It's just, just distorted uh, with a distortion. Here is the video uh, player so the, 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 without distortion. The, the search is distorted. It's a normal video. It's an accurate angular projection. It's a mathematical projection. You could uh, do a little planet, uh, transforming it to stereographic projection and things like that. And hugging, hugging does that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, because I uh, had a uh, half an hour kind of chatting. And uh, the next session actually is quite special. Um, this, as you know, is a graphic design and software development conference, not just graphic design. I'm very bringing this here, a uh, worldwide conference, to OpenU, which is the home of the Lua programming language, but it's actually used worldwide. So uh, it would be okay if we would include uh, the Lua uh, leverage, uh, something about Lua in our. In our and then I uh, let Professor Alexander continue the invitation. He actually made the main author uh, and creator of the language, which is right there. I'm very happy to do it. Uh, just the last, the last word here. If someone wants uh, cardboard, I have some here to. Oh, in fact, I'd, I'd like to, to make a so tell you, but I have more here to sell. Okay. Um,